Welcome back to Megazoid's Hut. So as you can see the boards came in, came in today, but I haven't actually put them together yet. Um, Quality is great, as usual, and very cheap. Uh, £9.50 for 10 boards of two different designs. Uh, 13 days, which is pretty good. I mean you can obviously pay more postage and get them in faster, but uh, I've got time, so. Uh, yeah, screen printing's good. No issues. Um, so these boards are. Once you get them in your hand, you kind of realise how small they are. And uh, you know, there's a, a Game Boy Color. Sure. I suppose they're, they're going to be a lot lighter than the Game Boy Color and very compact. So yeah, the size is, is fine. I think this is. Um, I don't own an Arju board. Arju boy, um, but this is what I believe the size is. So. The top half is similar, it just doesn't have the doesn't have the bottom bit on it. Obviously there's smaller consoles out there, <laughs> smaller handhelds. Not that you can really play the the uh, the thummy. Uh, but you know, you can uh, that's something I made a couple of years ago. And these small small handhelds are they're totally playable. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I've got to slap these together, but uh, obviously in the last couple of weeks I've been sort of having thoughts about it. I mean, I think I dived in quite quick um, with the design, really. Uh, there's some, you know, I didn't really know a lot about it, and there's some, one thing that um, came up. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> so obviously you've got, um, with these you've got a, charging port and obviously the port on the Pro Micro or the Teensy 2 um, you can only charge, you can only, you can't have a single port to do both uh, like you can't program obviously through the charging port of the LiPo charger um, without, as, without the switch so I was sort of investigating that and um, put this thing together which is all getting a bit out of control now but uh, still works but if you uh, if you have a, a switch that switches between so what I've done is I've, I've taken some wires off the uh, the lipo charger and uh, well <laughs> I've, I've tied some wires into the programming wires on the pro micro and then obviously I can have a single USB which will either charge the battery or then if you flip the switch and you know that one mostly you know that'll be in that position where you're just charging the battery because you're not going to be reprogramming or adding games or messing around with the flash all that mess but when you want to you can just flip a switch and then it's into programming mode so I want to have something like that on either these boards or another board. Um, and then the other thing I was thinking about is, is I don't know, it's just this isn't really, well this is the cheapest way and the cheapest and easiest way for people to put together uh, the Arju Boy FX, really, by slapping other PCBs onto another, onto a, uh, what would you call it? Not a donor, but uh, a, a mother, a sort of motherboard PCB, and then slapping things onto it. Is that out of focus? Probably. Um, so that's the easiest and the cheapest. We can't get around that. That's going to be the cheapest way to do it. However, it's not very, uh, it's not very satisfying, really. I mean, it'd be nice to sort of make it, make one from scratch. Yeah. So I, I've been uh, quite busy the last couple of weeks waiting for the PCBs, and it's sort of got me thinking about. Um, you know, maybe I should do something like a proper, <laughs> try and do a proper circuit rather than just slapping boards together. Um, so this is probably the, the probably the best schematic that I've, I've produced really. I mean, I, it's not, uh, for an amateur, I don't think it's too bad. Um, but uh, yeah, I got a simple battery charger there, uh, two, two indicators. Uh, there's no charge protection because there's protection on the battery already. So I've got my um, 
charge select and upload select switch. Now, I don't know how other people are doing that. I mean, I couldn't really figure out another way to do that. Uh, joysticks, I mean, it's all pretty straightforward. Everybody seems to do that very similarly with the with at Mega32. Um, everybody seems to kind of do the same thing there. So I've just sort of followed other people. Um, and so flash chip speaker. Uh, and then I've thrown this together, which I haven't, I'll probably send off today or tomorrow, um, which is the PCB. Now this is the, I think this is probably, I don't have an R RG boy, but I think it actually probably is very, very close to the RG boy size. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do something like semi properly, <laughs> sort of, I don't know, again, I don't know if it'll work really. So it's just Argy, Argy Boy FX really with a um, with a joystick. Then you got that upload charge thing, which I don't know how other people figure that out. Uh, only thing that's really missing is a fuse, which uh, because I'm like a, kind of an amateur, I don't really, I didn't really know how to implement that or what kind of values I should have on it. So yeah, no fuse, never mind, or a resettable fuse. No fuse, so no, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I want to send that off. And uh, so I think I, I'm going to, strangely enough, I mean, I don't think I'm going to leave it at that as well. I want to do another board, which um, will be using another Pro, Pro Micro, but with the, the big chip Pro Micro, I think... Uh, Mr. Blinky calls it the big chip Pro Micro, which gives you absolutely everything that you need for the fully compatible RG Boy, um, which I didn't really see his documentation before I sort of dived into this. But yeah, I'll probably do one more PCB and then, or maybe two more, because I do want one which has a, um, a detachable screen. So I popped together the Pro Micro one. I haven't done the Teensy one yet, um, just to see what's what. And this kind of semi works. It's ninety percent there. The uh, somehow managed to get up and down the wrong way around. Oops, don't want that one. Oh. Yeah, so I've reversed uh, up and down, which is a shame. I mean, a lot of these games are still playable actually, and then you could bodge wire it if you didn't really want to make another one. But these were only testers really, so. Uh, actually, that's going up and that's going down. I don't know. Might need some further testing, really. No, it's definitely... Once you get in the games, it's definitely wrong. Anyway, uh, so further investigation there, but... Um, yeah, it worked, and we need to. I, I need to get on to the next, the next one, the next version. Anyway, thanks for watching.